What's up, everybody? What up a part of the day you were in? I hope it's going absolutely well. Today on The Creative, we're talking about the 70 to 200 millimeter RF Canon lens 2.8. I think I said that, right? Did I? <laughs> yeah, I think I did. Anyway, that more on The Creative. So really quickly before I get into this, I have to share this with you. Like this was actually an embarrassing moment for me in some way. Uh, I lost the money on this. It was not fun. And you know what? Life happens. But I actually had this lens before and I had rented it about a year ago now, a little less than a year ago now. But I had rented it and I had every intention of shooting with somebody and doing a a review on this lens however the model that I was shooting with <laughs> canceled yeah yeah it was just unfortunate and I didn't have any more time to actually do the review or even ask somebody else to come out and shoot with me. And I had to return it the very next day. And it pained me. So I literally paid for a lens just to take a few pictures with it inside of my house that didn't really show its range or the beauty or the just all around amazingness of this lens and it frustrated me. And you know what? I was so excited that I said I was going to do <laughs> a thumbnail for the YouTube channel. I did it beforehand, man. And this is it. Yeah, like I was hyped. I had it planned out in my head and everything. And I didn't even get to use this. So in one of my next videos, this thumbnail is actually going to be used so when you see it just go ahead and click on it in solidarity that you know you feel my pain yeah can you do that thank you and while you're doing that you know putting a little note saying when you see this thumbnail again make sure to click on it because daniel really wants you to watch it and even though i know you're not doing that but it's cool though we're still friends <laughs> if you like anything that you see here on this channel why don't you go ahead and subscribe for me it really helps me out it means nothing to you but everything to me so please if you can help me out go ahead and subscribe hit the bell if you want to get notifications of when the next video comes out and all of that great stuff okay cool enough of that spiel but we are getting to the 70 to 200 okay quick warning this is not an in-depth review or anything of that nature but i'll tell you what i feel about this lens and how it feels when i'm shooting with it so right off the bat it is a heavier lens but if you remember its predecessor yeah this is very small compared to what the other one looked like so yes it comes with a lens hood um really great super cool good to know and when you zoom it out okay let's do that yeah that's how uh, long it gets here and there are a few things that um are on this that you know i appreciate and we'll go maybe in depth about it another time there is three stabilizing modes uh you can turn on or off stabilization um obviously there is automatic focus and then there is manual focus and then this is something that i actually had to look up because i had no idea what it meant so i actually didn't even go to google i actually went to the why can i not speak right now <laughs> the manual and what it is is an image stabilizer mode nope that's not it it is a focusing distance range selector what does that mean Great question. But do you really care what that means? Probably if you're watching this video, you're not looking for my in-depth analysis on the 70 to 200. So I'm just gonna show you some pictures that I took with it. Is that okay? Cool, great.
initial impressions of the lens is that it's a great lens. I absolutely love it so far. Um, I love the capabilities. I love the range on it. It's going to allow me to do a lot more without having to move around. And in particular, the in-body stabilization is awesome. So yeah, that's just like my first initial thoughts on this lens. Let me know if you've used this lens, if you rented this lens, if you own this lens, what do you think about this lens? What do you primarily, primarily use it for? And all of that great stuff. I would love to hear what you think about it. This is a realized dream. Yes, I had to spend a little money to get it. I'm not going to lie to you, but you know, I'm grateful for it and it's going to be put to good use. It's about to be uh, a workhorse. It definitely will be. Um, and yeah, I'm just excited to see what I'll create and how it will uh, best serve my clients uh, now that I have it. So yeah, that's all for today. If this is something that blessed your spirit, go ahead and like this. If this is something that you want to keep up with, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, blow it up, people's elbow it, and all of that great stuff. And if you want to get an alert of when the next episode comes out, go ahead and hit that bell as well. Please do. Until the next one, go ahead and do something creative today. Peace. Is this like the size of my head? Yeah, just about the size of my head. I am going to put you to work, sir. Yes, I will. All right. Stop being there. Bye. <laughs>